Welcome to lecture four of Beginner's Guide to Understanding Chemistry. This lecture will be on electrons and charge. Oftentimes in general chemistry, we want to understand how can we determine how many electrons a specific atom has, because after all, electrons are going to be one of the most important things we study in this course. It's important to know how to determine the number of electrons a specific atom has. If it is neutral, this is equal to the number of protons. But more formally, an atom's number of electrons is equal to its number of protons minus its charge. Example, how many electrons does iodine with a minus one charge have? Here is the symbol for iodine. And we can set up our equation. We have number of electrons is equal to the atomic number, which in this case is 53, which is the same as the number of protons, minus its charge. Its charge in this case is negative 1. So 53 minus minus 1 is really 53 plus 1, as two negatives make a positive in mathematics. So we're going to have 54 electrons total. This may seem counterintuitive because you might think, oh, we're actually taking one away from the charge saying minus one but let's remember that electrons are negatively charged so it's really the opposite of what you might think conversely how many electrons does xenon with a positive two charge have let's use the same formula we have our number of electrons equal to 54 minus plus two is our charge so it's really 54 minus 2, which is 52 electrons. And as usual, using the last slide, you should be able to answer the following questions. How many electrons do each of the following have? The first example is iron with a 3 plus charge. And in example B, we have tellurium with a minus 2 charge. And we get to valence electrons. Making the story a little bit more complicated, elements have a total number of electrons that we just talked about. However, an atom's electrons can be separated into two types, their valence electrons and their core electrons. Valence electrons are the electrons found in the outermost layer of an element. If an element were an apple, its valence electrons would be located on the apple's skin. Any other electrons located deeper down are called core electrons. Furthermore, we can determine the number of valence electrons. There's a pretty easy method. Uh, as we said, the periodic table is a resource that tells us a plethora of information, so we'll actually get it from there. For an uncharged atom in groups 1a through 8a, excluding transition metals, there's also one other exception which we'll get to. Their number of valence electrons is the same as their column number. For example, anything in group 1a, let's for example just take lithium as an example. Lithium, sodium, potassium, these all have one valence electron. With lithium, for example, because its atomic number is 3, it has one valence electron and two core electrons. Uh, sodium, for example, would have one valence electron and 10 core electrons. Anything in group 2A, same situation, two valence electrons. Any other electrons are core electrons. For example, magnesium would have two valence electrons and 10 core electrons. Group 3A, boron, aluminum, gallium, these all have three valence electrons. Aluminum, for example, has three valence electrons and ten core electrons. Carbon, silicon, germanium, these all have four valence electrons. Silicon, for example, would have four valence electrons and ten core electrons. Nitrogen, phosphorus, arsenic, these all have five valence electrons. Phosphorus, for example, would have five valence electrons and ten core electrons. Oxygen, sulfur, selenium, tellurium, these all have six valence electrons. Um, selenium, for example, would have six valence electrons and 28 
core electrons. Group 7, these all have 7 valence electrons. So for example, let's go uh, bromine. Why not? Bromine has 7 valence electrons and 35 minus 7, uh, that would be 28 core electrons. Group uh, AA has one exception to this rule, helium, because helium only has two electrons. As we can see, based on its atomic number, uh, it's the one exception in this column. All the other atoms, like neon, argon, krypton, uh, xenon, and radon, these all have eight valence electrons. For example, uh, neon would have eight valence electrons, and it would have two core electrons. From the information, you should be able to answer the following questions. How many valence and core electrons do the following have? Lead, PB, bismuth, BI, tin, SN, barium, BA.